What makes you think you're ready for commitment? Because the Bible told me so. Hell no! I was so mad about that. Uh, you tripped. But did you never, ever, ever take your question about your wife and God? I only had three abortions. No, no. Talking Fresh Podcast. Yo. Hey, we back. Talking Fresh Podcast. Follow uh, Instagram. Talking Fresh Podcast. Subscribe to Fresh Words TV on YouTube. Uh, we got a Talking Fresh Podcast channel that will be up pretty soon when we uh, start doing our live uh, streams. But right now, just subscribe to Fresh Words TV on YouTube. And follow Talking Fresh Podcast on Instagram. Oh, actually, new Twitter alert. We got a new Twitter account. So you can follow us on Talking Fresh Podcast. I tried to get Talking Fresh, but some white guy got it. And I think he's a cook or something. And he don't even update it. I I need to check and see if he tweeted me back. Because I said, hey, player, let me get that up off you. Anyways, follow us, Talking Fresh Podcast. <laughs> Let me get a few people out of the way real quick. You want to hit up on Instagram, YBE underscore Wolf Fresh. That's W O L F Fresh. He does custom uh, kits, custom clothing, cl- custom hats. Like he, he take your idea, paint it, put it all together, make your shit look real good, nice. And you look different. Stop trying to, uh, you know, look like everybody else. It's okay every now and then, but come on, get you some custom shit. Go follow my boy at YBE underscore Wolf Fresh. And I told him to open his damn account, but it's on private. And I told him to change it back to Custom Fresh. But it might be Custom Fresh soon. If not, you could just always hit up Talk Fresh Podcast, and I'll be posting him if you can't find him. Uh... You also want to hit up diving underscore in underscore stilettos underscore first. She has a a book coming out. Uh, Her name is Shantae Dunbar. She's the author of Diving in Stilettos First, Memoirs of Dating Mr. Right. Uh, You can pre-sell, pre-order, I'm sorry, pre-order her book right now, but it comes out August 8th, 2017. So we're just trying to, you know, help her out a little bit. And um, who else did I want to? Um, oh, uh, Love Minati, L O V E M I N A T I. And you can also check him out on Instagram, uh, Laugh with Terry on Twitter. And you can also check out 2K Life TV on Inst- No, not Instagram. 2K Life TV on YouTube. He's on a, a YouTube show called. The conversation. They got a lot of dope topics and a lot of dope uh, episodes, and they also got new production, so it's kind of funny and it's cool. So, you know, check all those people out. If I'm promoting them, trust me, they got good content or they got good services. So, uh, yeah, hit them up. Oh, also follow Fix a Pick on Instagram. Fix a Pick, Fix a Pick, Fix a Pick. F I X E R P I C for logo design, t shirt design, web design. And all that good design to help you manipulate people and buying into your company bullshit. And with that being said, we got Ms. Williams in the building. Mm-hmm. Give it up for Ms. Williams in the building. Yo, yo. You ain't gonna cut? Oh. Oh, okay. Boo. I'm gonna put a little side effect in there. Boo. They're gonna be throwing tomatoes and shit at your ass. All right. So, yeah. So, I reached out. I don't know if you guys know um, Shabazz, the OG, which is, I believe he's Floyd Mayweather's uncle or cousin, but they look alike. He's just a little older, and um, I reached out to him to do a podcast episode, but I didn't want to do like no interview type of situation, so I haven't done it. I haven't uh, followed back up, but he did reach back out and say he'll do it. No problem. I was thinking about, you know, being calculated and put him uh, on round the Floyd Mayweather fight, like the day after day, maybe the week of, 
Well, I kind of wanted two days out because I know the day after they're going to be partying and shit because Floyd going to win. Um, and I already got my money on them for the fifth round to win the fifth round. But anyways, so now I just had an idea what I can do is just kind of like because uh, he does be t- uh, touching on topics. If y'all not following him, uh, let me give you his uh, Instagram handle. It's uh, Shabazz. It's S H A B A Z Z T H E O G. Uh, Shabazz the OG. You'll probably see him with a lot of TMT uh, apparel and stuff like that. So he has a lot of topics that he puts up. He put up probably about five a day, but. He had this one thing that uh, interests me. I'm going to play it real quick. Yo. Everything ain't for everybody. What he eat don't make you shit. You understand? A lot of y'all can't be successful because you're too busy trying to do what your friend is doing. That made them successful. You're copying. She opened a boutique. You got to go open one. She making money, you not. Why? Because it ain't for you. If you don't know what you're good at, take some time to figure it out. Stop being lazy. Your man flipping houses, getting money, doing a real estate thing, he killing the game. What you want to do? Now you want to go to real estate school. You can't even pass the course. Why? Because it ain't for you. Just because somebody else is getting money doing something don't mean that that money is for you. Be creative. Get inside yourself. Figure out what you're good at. Attempt to be good at that. You never know. You just might be successful. Just do you. Yeah. All right. Message from the OG. Message. Message. Message from the OG. That's what we're going to call that. All right. That boy, he said He said a handful. You want to give him a round of applause for that? Yeah. No. You want to clap that up? What kind of clap was that? Are My you hand retarded? got stuck. You retarded? How My you, hand got stuck. How your hand gets stuck clapping? My hand was in my shirt. I was. How, how do your hand get stuck clapping? My hand was in my why, shirt because but why I was wouldn't touching your brain, myself. Why wouldn't your brain say, take my hand out and then clap? It got stuck, nigga. How do it get stuck? Because it's Are loose. It's loose that a, shirt. The Mike Epps. Uh, it's a loose baby shirt. Hand. I seen somebody. Actually this is my walk, white girl swag. I seen somebody I walk past uh, when I was on my way back. I seen somebody uh, walk uh, across the red light with the love. Arm. Like Did you start up. singing the song? Nope, but I thought about baby. You know I really love you. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back. All right, so that's kind of like something I've been saying for a long time. Like, okay, prime example. My auntie just hit me up. No, matter of fact, let's let's rewind. I was home for the weekend down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And I'm always giving my grandmother little ideas on, you know, making money off her money or like little small little things, little small business opportunities, because usually she's always interested. And I'm trying to, you know, help my family grow wealth. But you have to attack the head. My grandmother is the head, so she'll disperse the information out accordingly. Instead of going to everyone because I've tried that and I wasn't so successful. So if I just give it to my grandma, it works. I know it works. So she'll give it to everybody else. But my aunt asked me to come by and show her the uh, application that I use to uh, buy and sell and invest into these uh, stocks. So I showed her uh, briefly. But I felt like, you know, she got enough brain power to kind of like do most of it on her own. own. So I just kind of gave her the basics. But she kept like pinching that uh, some, I don't even know what it is. I market or something. It sounds like some network marketing thing. And I was like, the first time I was like, nah, I haven't heard of it. Um, But yeah, let me show you, continue on how I was showing you how to do this account. Mm-hmm. But she was like, but it's uh, such and such fee to get in. Da, 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 da. I was like, nah, I'm I'm straight on buying into anybody 
system. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I've right. learned my own system, and I don't have a middleman. You know what I'm saying? So my money come directly to me, and I can directly buy all that. I don't need no broker or nothing like that. But thanks for the info anyways. So I was trying to explain to her, hey, call me when you set, finish setting up everything. And then today she texts me a screenshot of the thing again. Like, I don't know if she's trying to get me to get in it with her or under her. I don't I don't know. I was just like, uh, let me uh, see what I said. Yeah, so basically she texted me this morning. She said, good morning. I will enroll into the, um, the app that you sent me today. Um, then she sent me a pic and said, this is the pic of the foreign exchange. She sent me, it has like a profit balance and stuff like that. Dealing with USD euro to usd and all that and i'm like uh okay let me know and i was like i don't deal i told her at her house but then i said again i don't deal with foreign exchange i said but is that something you do she said we signed up through the company i market and didn't uh do anything or whatever i said okay i don't mess with that that game i stick to my system i say but if it works for you go for it she said, yeah, remember I cho told you it was 185 monthly, but you make money daily. I said, go for it. Go for it. That's not my thing. That ain't my thing. I don't want to do what you do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The same thing like you say. Okay, your homie started flipping houses. Now you want to flip houses. Nothing wrong with you wanting to make money. If it's working for your friend, of course, the natural thing, if you're not making money like that, or you see an opportunity, you see an opportunity. But it's a way that you have to approach it. You don't go now and you go You have down. to want to do that no, shit. No, not even that. Listen, you don't go now and now you want to flip houses. No, how about invest into your friend that's flipping houses? You know what I'm saying? If it's a business opportunity, give him the money. Okay, hey, flip me two houses. Boom, we can bust down this profit like this, that. You don't necessarily have to go... Uh, to real estate school and you know what I'm saying you're wasting your time and money in the long run if you're not going to go through with it you know what I'm saying so like I'll be trying to explain that to my sister too like she she's one of those okay I need to know everything about this I need to do this and that, and that, and that in order to get into something okay that's a gift and a curse because you don't need to know everything about everything you know what I'm saying that's what people is there for you you know what I'm saying if I want to invest into some duplexes uh, I'm going to more than likely get with somebody who's already doing it. I'm not trying to do it from the ground up because that's not my passion. That's not what I wake up to want to do. I don't, I mean, I would love to see how I can uh, design a house, but I don't wake up and say, hmm, I wish I can get some duplexes and, you know, so I would just love to see this and that. Like, I don't, that ain't my thing. My thing is designing, mm -hmm. talking this shit. And putting out new content, new ideas, and doing my little side business of, you know, buying and selling Bitcoins. And, you know, I play a little blackjack on the side, too. You know what I'm saying? You know what I do. But I'm just telling them to give them retrospect. Like, I have little things that I'm into, and it works for me. Do I make a lot of money? No. Can I? Yes. Have I? Yes. But that's my thing. I don't, I don't want to fuck with foreign exchange. I don't know shit about foreign exchange. Mm -hmm. I never even been out of the damn country. Not saying that you have to to make money, but you get what I'm saying. So, like, <clears throat> I just wanted to kind of, like, briefly talk about that. Like, have you ever had a situation to where you wanted to do something because somebody else doing it? Uh, to make money? Mm. Not that I can recall. I've like stumbled a, I feel like I've stumbled upon shit and tried it. Now you did try but. faking the goddamn being a programmer, but that's oh, good well, because you just was taking. I took, a class. I literally took a class on that, and I was like, "Fuck this shit." <laughs> but you couldn't even finish a goddamn contact. <laughs> uh, fuck you. I well, yeah, I I couldn't do that, but I I did other. I accomplished. Some of the um, assignments. Here we, go. Here we go. But, boy, that shit is not for me. Fuck that shit. That's some shit, bitch. No. I'm straight. Yeah. But, um, you know. So that's... Yeah. You, you know, like I said, I've 
like, yeah, I'll see something that sparks my interest. I'm like, oh, that looks cool. Like the programming and uh, tried it. I was like, yeah, no. I'm not yeah, it's not that. wrong with trying things, but people go, they'll, they'll spend their whole life on trying other people's shit. It's mm-hmm. like, what you, what, do you, what the fuck you like to do? What you wake up and like to do? If you had all the money in the world, what would you do? You know what I'm saying? That's how I think. Like, what's that? I mean, your passion. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you have to want it. Like, to to really not see even something. want it. It just has to be you. Same shit. No, it's not. It's not wanting. Is a uh, it's it's a passion to get get something. You know, it's a want. But like, if it's just you, it's just you. Like, if you just draw, you just draw. It's not you want to be a drawer. You just draw. You just wake up. You like drawing. That's just your mm-hmm. shit. It's like, you know what I'm saying? But I, I feel like our generation is fuck monkey suit, monkey do, bitch. They bitch. They in the monkey suit. Goddamn, trying to be the goddamn monkey. They ain't even trying to follow the monkey. They trying to be the monkey. Like he said, if a big go get a boutique. You know how many girls I knew came to me. Hey, how much you charge for a website? I need a, a shopping cart. I'm like, oh, shit, here we go again. Another goddamn cheap-ass uh, boutique bitch that want to spend $200 to get a website done. Mm-hmm. And even 200 is too much to her. Like, bitch, first of all, I don't charge 200 Second of all, how many of y'all going to sell the same goddamn dress in the same area? How many of y'all going to do it? My homeboy had a a, a boutique. And eventually, I think he let that shit go. It's just like, it just got over oversaturated. And he been into fashion. Well, he's not my home, but he was an old client and he cool. So I, I guess, whatever. He cool. But he wound up, I asked him why he got rid of his show, uh, Stowe. You know, I think he was like, uh, it's just oversaturated. Like, everybody want to have a fucking boutique now that ain't even into fashion. It's just like. They fuck up everything. You know how many people started designing? Because I was designing early. Mm -hmm. Like, I was 17, 18, already designing and making money off design. Like, now after that, I seen at least five uh, people that I knew. Because they're like, oh, uh, he did it. I can do it. No, nigga, I stayed up for fucking months to learn programs and shit. And not only did I design, bitch, I went and learned video editing, web design, all kind of shit, coding. Like, you... That's me. I had a passion for that, but you can't. You can't like manipulate. Like, uh, what is it? Not manipulate, but I guess mock. You can't mock what I do, bitch. You ain't. You can't keep up, and I can't keep up with whatever you do. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever had a friend who tried to do something that you was doing? Bro, my memory shit. I don't. Let me see. You're out of it. You wanna? Let me do this by myself? <laughs> no. Mm, I see. need you to be on point. You got people listening. A friend? Mm, I can't. And I can't talk to be low. honest. Look at your my vocals. I'm, Can you just run this back and start over? No, I'm not, not starting over. They need to hear all this. Look how my vocals is higher than you, and I'm not closer to the mic. Okay, I'm sure they can hear me. Yeah, they can hear you, but look at your vocals. I'm trying to tell you. Okay. All right, now you want to be funny. <laughs> but anyways, back to the topic. All I'm saying is, like, okay, when I go back home, people be like, hey, uh, what you been up to? You still designing? Like, uh, bitch, what the fuck else I'm going to be doing? Real estate now, bitch? That's what I do, god damn it. Like, yeah. that's what I do. I'm not stopping. I'm, I'm never going to stop. I don't care if I did one design a year. I'm not going to stop designing. That's just, that's me now. You know what I'm saying? That's just my thing. But I'm not, I ain't, uh, people be like, oh, bro, you should, you should have a, a modeling agency by now. A nigga told me that. You can have a modeling agency. Why you don't have no modeling agency? Bro, I don't want no fucking modeling agency. <laughs> I guess. So I can have more women, like, and being more fucking risk of, of babies and shit or getting a bad name or fucking my clients and shit like that. Jesus Christ. Jump I'm from just, zero to 100. I'm just saying, that's all, bro. Where I'm from, niggas who say they got a modeling agency or they photographers, everybody know the hood photographers always trying to be the creeps. 
I'm not trying to have that label. I know a photographer that was hitting all his little clients and shit, and girls will do it because they want free p- photos. Wow. I mean, come on, He man. better be good. Man. You but, yeah, right. I have I have known somebody to, um, to dive into real estate. It's funny that you brought that up. But they, they went and took the course. M- mind you, you know, they're, like, about to hit the 40s. All right. Ain't nothing uh, wrong with your you age. Know, I'm saying, when you're 40, bitch, you got responsibilities. You ain't just out here trying to figure shit out. No, you got responsibilities. You never know, though. You never you know. Got, they, have a, they have a spouse. They have a kid. And you can't speak another kid. on that like that because everybody I'm saying is. that because I know that, that person, that person okay. does but not want to do real estate. They just saw vocals. it. Yeah, they just that? saw it and said, ooh, this is a quick way to possibly make some money. But you know how dedicated you have to be to go and sell a fucking house? You have to go meet with people. You got to go see the house. You got to call these people. These people. You don't have time for that. Like, just stop it. And side note, they took the exam and failed it. So they got to take it again. <laughs> Of course they did. And I but sister, I was like, I think like what the fuck are you doing? I took that shit like two or three times, if I ain't mistaken. But I'm like, bitch, that, that ain't a real estate agent just might not be your thing. You might just need to be a real estate investor. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Or put somebody else through the class that's smarter than you that's and let them run it. it. You know what I'm saying? Like, people, you got to think, if you're going to be a business-minded person, be a fucking creative business-minded person. You don't, bro, Steve Jobs ain't build a motherfucking MacBook. You know what I'm saying? He started the company. He helped out with some shit. He 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 designed some of the shit, but he hired people. You know what I'm saying? 48 Laws of Power tell you, you know, uh, let people do the work and you take, you the, take credit the credit for it. That's just how it go. You know what I'm saying? Hire people that's smarter than you. You know what I'm saying? When I did a, a phone app, I did the UI. I did the branding, the social media campaign designs. I did the logo. I did the uh, user experience, uh, the user interface, which I just said UI. Um, But the back-end development, I paid a developer. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to go to school to learn how to do JavaScripting for Xcode. You know what I'm saying? When it's already a guy in my area who knows that and he ain't got to do all the extra shit. Oh, it works out. I get it cheaper. Basically, I'm saving myself five to eight thousand dollars because I'm doing the shit myself. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And just pay him his little ten to fifteen thousand to do the little back end, and boom, we good. But I ain't trying to learn every damn thing. Just hire a bitch. But um, yeah. OG, Stay OG. in your lane from the OG. wise words of LeVar Ball. OG said it, boy. <laughs> I got to I gotta back that up. What'd you say, OG? Yo. Yeah. What'd you Everything say? ain't for everybody. Why not? What he eat don't make you shit. Okay. You understand? Yeah, I understand. A lot of y'all can't be successful because you're too busy trying to do what your friend is doing. Okay. That what made you mean? them successful. What you mean? You're copying. Oh. She open a boutique, you gotta go open one. She making money, you not. Why? Cause it ain't for you. If you don't know what you're good at, take some time to figure it out. Stop being lazy. Your man flipping houses, getting money, doing a real estate thing, he killing the game. What you wanna do? Now you wanna go to real estate school. You can't even pass the course. Why? Cause it ain't for you. Just because somebody else is getting money doing something don't mean that that money is for you. Be creative. Get inside yourself. Figure out what you're good at. Attempt to be good at that. You never know. You just might be successful. Just do you. Okay. I got it now, OG. I got it. <laughs> do you, boo-boo. But look now, okay, I am guilty of when I come across a little uh, opportunity, you can call it a lick. I usually try to put people on too, but that's just the, the love of community that I think black people lack. And so mm, maybe maybe I'm kind of being hypocritical because I would like to think if I'm doing something, why can't you do it? Like, I'm giving you the game. Why you can't do it? You can do it. You know what I'm saying? So is that hypocritical? No. If you 
give people opportunity. That's not you jumping on the shit saying, ooh, you should oh, okay, you yeah. need to do this because no, 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 that's just out here making money. It's, it's not like they actually following me because I'm doing it. I, I get it. Okay, yeah, so it's not being contradicted. But, I, man, hey, just stay in your lane. <clears throat> Perfect your lane. And, you know, eventually it got to work out if it's your thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you do give up on shit, though. It's just because right now ain't the time for it, though. Like, uh, me and my homeboy was just talking the other day. He was like, bro, why we ain't been did such and such, such and such? I was like, bro, it wasn't the time for that shit, nigga. Like, it wasn't the time. He was like, damn, bro, you right. Right now is the the time for this shit that we had going on. Yeah. But I'm like, yeah, bro, like, you know how many projects I wanted to do or that didn't work out? <laughs> it just wasn't the timing for that. But I still stayed in my genre. I stayed to my shit, perfecting my craft. This is what I do. Now, I talk a lot of shit off fucking uh, uh, YouTube and off the mic. You know what I'm saying? If you get to know me, we're going to have some deep conversations. So why not record these motherfuckers and give people some insight on the, on the, you know what I'm saying, have another perspective on some things. That's the wave. But I'm not podcasting just because I seen Joe Rogan, even though Joe Rogan has inspired me. But, bitch, I've been talking this shit before I knew who the fuck Joe Rogan was. You know what I'm saying? But, all right, enough about me. What about you? Boonda, Miss Boonda. Mm. Um, I mean, yeah, like like I said in the wise words of Levar Ball, stay in your lane, find what works for for you, perfect that shit, and hopefully, if you can find a way to make a living off what you love to do, um, do that shit. It'll make life a whole lot easier for you. But this the thing, even if you ain't making a living off it. If it's your thing, it's your thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to stop always putting a monetary value on every fucking thing. Oh, I ain't making a million dollars, so I don't want to make mm-hmm. hats no more. Okay, you might make $2 a fucking hat. That's your shit. That's your price point. That's it. Welcome to the fucking world of business. You wanted to motherfucking be in business? Everything ain't for sale for a million dollars. You got cars, that's $500. You got cars, that's 500000 Pick your price point. Welcome welcome to the world of American business. So even if your shit ain't selling, some shit is free. They give it, It's called uh, give it away because you want to, you know, advertise. So fuck making a living off it. If you doing what you do, now don't do no dumb shit. Like, don't be spending your money to, uh, I mean, that's obvious. Don't spend your money to just, you know, make other people life fucking better and your shit and miserable like you know what I'm saying it need to be some type of return in that business sense that's just bad business but if if your shit ain't making money if you love what you're doing it, it is what it is some bitches don't get paid off sucking dick they just love sucking dick hmm I ain't got no words oh bad. I thought you were about to say oh bitch I get paid for sucking dick I get paid for No comment. But um, I said that to say, um, because I, I said that to say well, when I was trying to find what I was going to do, like, you, you, you hear people say, oh, if you find something that you love to do, you'll never work a day in your life. And I used to see that and hear that, That's but bullshit. I never thought it was possible. It's still bullshit. It's just a positive mindset because, bitch, you still going to work. You still working, but when I love what the fuck I do, so when I go to work, it doesn't feel like work. Like I would do that shit for free if I didn't have to worry about bills and expenses. I would, I would practice hygiene for free if I didn't have to worry about the money side of it. That's how I know I love what the fuck I do. Mm-hmm. So when I go to work, I'm, I'm, I'm not watching the clock waiting on. Six six thirty to come. Like oh my god, I'm ready to get off. That's like, probably because you're always active too. Most people sitting in fucking cubicles, which is unnatural. You're supposed to be on the move. I mean, Everything else is moving in your body, but you. That that too, but still, like some some people love the accounting shit. They love to push numbers. They they don't like to go outside. You know, it ain't always about being outside in nature. 
but just um just loving what the fuck you do but also ha- Hold on. also happening to find what accountant like they job it's some people that love what they do yeah the bitches who scheming okay <laughs> they scheming the in, in their cubicle I ain't seen one accountant that sit in the cubicle and say he love pushing numbers for one how many accountants do you know realistically I know and a I'm couple. not talking about people that do taxes. I know a couple. I'm talking about a CPA, a certified public about accountant. About three. And they don't like the job. <laughs> no, bitch, my auntie works for the biggest radio station <laughs> in fucking America, and she's an accountant. Does she love what she do or no? She, she loves what she do, do because, because she got a. No, she loves the ambiance of the job, like what comes with it. But bitch, she want to sit there. Okay, well that was no just an example there. of somebody yeah, that works really. in a cubicle. My bad, but. Like I said, I love the fuck I do, and um, I'm glad I explored a lot of shit to, to finally land on this, because I literally don't feel like I'm working when I go to work. I'm just not a morning person. I hate waking up. But besides that, uh, you know, about 9, 30, 10 o'clock, I'll be straight. <laughs> Damn, I, f- I just got a splinter, dog. How the fuck I get a splinter? There ain't even no wood around here. Um, Yeah, so it's crazy. I just wish people would, if you if you trying things, just have that I'm trying things mentality. Don't be putting I'm a CEO of motherfucking goddamn Boobop Bitty Entertainment because you just started, uh, uh, you threw one pool party, so now you, you CEO of such and such entertainment. Come on, bro. Just say you. Just say you try. You trying to get your hustle on. That just, should be crazy, especially in you know college. Like, nigga, like y'all just all started coming to the school. Now y'all got a fucking company that throws parties. I guess. I mean, I ain't knocking your hustle. All I'm just saying is stop, stop fronting. You know, what I'm saying trying to be like somebody else when you just trying something. In six months, you might not even be doing that. You might be selling motherfucking cupcakes. Who knows? You might be Uber driving. It's just like, bitch, just, just try things, and then when you find your little niche, you know, perfect it and keep it moving. I know, you know what I'm saying? That's what I did. And shit going to be rough. Shit's Hell still yeah. rough. But you're going to have your little licks, and you just got to cop- capitalize off them. And, you know, hopefully you got some backing, some parenting or some uh, a female or a male or something. To where you know you can withstand the uh, rough times, but just stay in your lane, keep it cool. And I'm saying that because I know some young niggas be listening to this. Now, now that I know that my nephew listening to this, and uh, you know other people in that age. So all you young niggas and young females out there, you know it's gonna come a time in your life where you know you, you just gonna have to stay in your lane and 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 keep it moving. Don't worry about what the next man doing, cause he might he might know more than you. You know what I'm saying? He might not give you all the game. It might look like he giving you the game, but he know more than you. He might have a connect behind the scenes. So he might, yeah, he making X amount of dollars in six months, or he only been doing it for a month, and now you think you can get in and you know what I'm saying? Bom bom bom. No, it ain't gonna work like that. Because now it might take you 10 years because you ain't got the plug. He he might have the plug. Plug. You know what I'm saying? So you just got to chill. Somebody else, I think my little cousin posted. It says, okay, it said New York is three hours ahead of California, but that doesn't make uh, California slow. Someone graduated at the age of 22 but waited five years before uh, securing a good job. Someone became a CEO at 25 and died at 50, while another became a CEO at 50 and lived at 90 years old. Someone is still single while someone else is getting married. Obama retired at 55 and Trump uh, started at 70. What you doing, live? No. Oh. And then it say, uh, everyone in this world works based on their time zone. People around you might seem to, uh, to be ahead of you and, and might seem to be behind you. <clears throat> Damn, I feel like Floyd Mayweather right now in the Breakfast Club with this little ass shit I got to read. Um, 
but everyone is running their own race in their own time. Do not envy them. Do not mock them. They are in the time zone, and you are in yours. Life is about waiting for the right moment to act. So relax. You're not late. You're not early. And you are very much on time. Thanks. That's some real shit. That shit a hard pill to swallow because you be so itching. You be so itching. Itch. And a lot of people get mad. Like, when niggas get on, like, damn, how cold that black got on at 18, 19. And nigga, I've been rapping in Brian County for 15 years. Like, man, that fuck, that, 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 that. Now you, now you hating. That ain't your time. You might supposed to come in the game at 40 with a motherfucking headphone idea or some new technology and then put your music out. You never know how shit supposed to pan out. Look at Dr. Dre. Everybody, man, when you gonna drop your album? When you gonna do this and that? Man, Dre producing other people and producing these motherfucking headphones. Mm -hmm. Now he can always, he got the biggest outlet. Now he got beats by Dre. He can upload his album, Detox, into the headphones in the Mm -hmm. next wave of headphones. You know what I'm saying? Look at you two on all the iPhones. Automatically come in your damn iTunes paid. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's millions, billions of iPhones getting sold and all they they music on there. And probably who knows their story, you know what I'm saying? It's just some niggas get it early, some niggas don't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, I was just, we're, I guess we're uh, blessed from the universe to find what we love to do at such a quote-unquote young age, you know. I haven't even hit 30 yet. So it takes some people some time to figure the shit out. But, you know, just keep trying to figure the shit out until you do. It's yeah. Just, nothing wrong with not having all the answers. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I know it get confusing because you got bills and you got people in your ear. You got people constantly down your throat by this American dream bullshit. You got social influence. You got stereotypes. You got fucking all kind of just stimulation going through your brain. But at the end of the day, Man, fuck that shit. Have a fucking attitude. Say fuck that shit. Stay focused. Stay focused on your shit. You never know. Shit, look how long it took to drop Fresco to motherfucking get the Venus Project off the ground. And it still really ain't off the ground, but it's moving. And now, rest in peace, he done died, what, two months ago. But he was 101. One of the, one of the last inventors we probably would even see. And and from his era, but she he was working on that seventy six years on that project seventy six years, nigga. This niggas out here ain't even gonna live to see seventy six years. And this man been dedicated, him and, and Roxanne Meadows. That's a real dedicated female. There never married her. All kind of shit had kids, whatever on her, but bitch. 76 years, bro. We did have kids. He had two kids. They both died. I want to say, yeah, I said he sacrificed them, but I was just talking shit. Yeah. I'll put that on here. Say allegedly. 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 I said I was talking shit. Nah, bitch. You got to say allegedly. These are people. People crazy. See what happened to Zoe, bitch. He was emailing Cub by the book, bitch. They coming to see you. <laughs> You know, I happened to, I was reading the review on one of Zoe Williams of the Voice of Reason um, on, on, okay. on Relationship Dismount. Relationship Dismount. I was reading one of the reviews and I saw the, the book that the guy wrote and I was trying to find it because it looked interesting. It was talking about basically how to get off this Western diet and get back to a more natural and tribal diet and way of living and using less uh less chemicals and all kind of shit like that um so i was trying to find the book but you know of course after all that happened uh by all that happened i mean this was the same guy that allegedly uh killed those police officers in dallas or baltimore where was it it was in dallas in dallas yeah he uh Allegedly uh, killed those officers. No, allegedly. He was an ex marine. Bitch, he killed them. What are you he talking ex- about? I said, I wasn't there. I'm just, that's what I read. I wasn't fucking there. I don't know who did it. Bitch, they, they said, what's the name? Shot JFK. They still ain't figured that shit out. Well, but, um, I guess. So, yeah, just I was trying to find his book because it looked fucking interesting. It. 
Um, but, uh, yeah, they don't have it online, like, anywhere, for obvious reasons. But, um, yeah. How did we even get on that fucking topic? I don't know. <laughs> we was talking about, uh, you brought up Joe Williams. Why well, don't we even get on him? Anyways, scattered brain lady. Uh, you want to wrap this up? Yeah, I do. Well, wrap it up then. <laughs> <laughs> We done? We done. What do you say? Uh, it's like a uh, running joke that uh, you like left a, off the podcast. It's like episode. a Miss Williams. It's like a running joke that you was left off the podcast. What do you say now? Say that again. It's, you was left off the podcast. What do you say? <laughs> yeah, you suck. You not funny, bro. You supposed to came with one. Let's do it. Let's improv. Come on now. You you ask me that. It's like a running joke that you was left off talking fresh podcast. You said you said I left off talking fresh podcast. Yeah, man, it's like a running joke that you were left off talking fresh podcast. Huh? You said you said I left off talking about fresh podcast. <laughs> I ain't left off talking fresh podcast. Do it like I left off. Do it look like I left off talking fresh podcast. <laughs> I ain't left off uh, this uh, bad bullshit. <laughs> All right, so yeah, y'all follow Real Nago at Talking Fresh Podcast on Instagram, Talking Fresh Podcast on Twitter. Watch this thing grow. It's just a little warm up, little bullshit, little podcast that a nigga been doing. But trust me, like I said, I got some good new uh, content coming. Pre- presentation style, you know what I'm saying? I'm taking that shit back to when I was in college, like I was. In college, long time ago, bitch. <laughs> it was a year ago. <laughs> Not even. It was like eight months years. ago. Oh, well, Master. You sh- Damn, you just sized me two years Look, ago. I'm talking about when you were like really, really like in school doing presentations. It was eight months ago. Bruh, you was doing that shit on your computer. Yeah. Well, live presentations was two years ago. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But this a presentation is a presentation. Don't be raining up. You said I left like off my. <laughs> you look like I, I wasn't doing my presentation. <laughs> I ain't left off my presentation. Uh, what I was saying, I was talking fresh on Twitter. Follow Miss Williams at Talking Fresh Podcast on Instagram. That ain't my Instagram. Ha <laughs> ha! You ain't got no Instagram. I'm I'm like R. Kelly. I got a coat. And none of my women. Is uh, allowed to have social media. Um, shots out to uh, uh, shots out to R. Kelly for having a coat. <laughs> uh, allegedly, that's the new thing, I guess. Um, yeah, so follow all those people. Go back in the beginning and follow all those people so I ain't got to so I ain't got to say that shit again. And uh, yeah, I want y'all to like, comment. <laughs> And share and uh, to all the ladies out there and pretty the young lady land. You know, I just want to say uh, if you got a fish smell between your legs, it's all good. Because I eat fish and grits. <laughs> <laughs>